progressing quite nicely on the Churchill. The smoke canister holders have been attached. Small storage box has been attached. We already fixated one of the rear track guards. The other one still needs to be mounted. And then we can make a start of putting on the rest of the track guards on both sides. We will still need to disconnect the air intakes so we can squeeze in the track cover on that section but that should not also be too much of a problem so yeah let's get started and here are the track guards already painted just need to be mounted A last look at the tracks before we put on the track covers. So with the air intake removed, we can now mount this track cover and once that one's mounted we can put this tiny one which sits over the rear and that one now to look for the necessary bolts meanwhile in hangar i-27 the other volunteers are busy putting the traction wheels on leopard 511 So this is the original traction wheel and this is the new one which is the initial version to make it look like an A1. And the track cover behind the air intake has been installed. It just needs to be secured to the inner hull wall. Once that's done, we can put on this tiny cover that goes over the rear end and the air intake part. And here we have the former engine of Leopard 500, which we'll put here in hangar 16 to do the maintenance on it. And once that one is done, can go back. So both air intakes are back where they belong with the track covers in place. So let's say that about one third half of the track covers are now in place. So only the front section and the third section needs to be installed, which is two pieces on each side. And this is what it looks like from the top. So we have three sections on each side that have been installed. So still to be done is the section close to the third ring and then the front section on both sides. So we wanted to install the front section of the track covers which needs to go in first before the section near the turret ring goes over. 
because it actually sits on top as you can see here and here however before we can put in the front track cover we need to fill up that gap now we've located the plates unfortunately they're painted white which is of course the wrong color so we first need to respray them before we can mount them so that'll be for next year unfortunately <laughs> Hey!